In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to create an Instagram feed like this on your WordPress website. The Smash Balloon Instagram Feed Pro plugin allows us to do just that in a few easy steps with no coding needed. I'll be demonstrating using the Pro version of the plugin, but you can check out the free version with less features through the WordPress repository. To get started, visit smashballoon.com and purchase Instagram Feed Pro. Once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Instagram Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Next, on your dashboard, on the left-hand side, hover over plugins and click on Add New Plugin. After that, click Upload Plugin and upload the zip file for Instagram Feed Pro, like so, and click Install Now. After that, click Activate Plugin. There we go, Instagram Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. To get started with creating your Instagram feed, on the left-hand side, you'll now notice Instagram Feed. Hover over it and click on Settings. Here, beside License Key, you can paste a license key from your Smash Balloon account, like this, and click Activate. Now you can see that our license key has been activated, we can begin creating our Instagram feed. Once again, on the left-hand side, under Instagram feed, click on All Feeds. Now, at the top, we can click Add New to get started. For the first step of creating our Instagram feed, we'll have to select the feed type. With Instagram Feed Pro, we have three different feed types to select from. The first one is the User Timeline feed, which allows you to display posts from your Instagram timeline. Next, we have the Public Hashtag feed type, that allows you to display posts from any public hashtag. And lastly, we have the Tagged Posts. This one allows you to create a feed of posts that you are tagged in. For this video, we're going to continue with the User Timeline option, and that's already selected for us, so we can click Next. And for our next step, we'll have to connect our Instagram account with the plugin. To do that, we can click on Add Source. Now, you'll have to choose if your Instagram account is a basic or business account. For this demonstration, our account is a business account. So I'm going to click on Business, and over here, it's asking if we've connected a Facebook account to the plugin before. I'm going to click on No. Then I can click on Connect with Facebook. This will take you into Facebook, and if you already logged into your account, you can click on Edit Access. And on this page, it will show you all the meta business accounts, Instagram accounts, and Facebook pages associated with your account. On the left-hand side, you can find the account that you want to display inside your Instagram feed. For example, in this video, we're going to display the Instagram post from the Smash Balloon Instagram account. So wherever that account is displayed, make sure it's toggled on. After that, we can close this and click on Continue. Next, you'll get the security prompt here asking you to confirm if this is your domain. You can click on Yes, it's my domain. Once that's done, you'll be taken back into your WordPress dashboard and inside the plugin, you can see all the Instagram accounts that you've connected with Smash Balloon. Select the Instagram account you want to display like this and click Add. After that, we can select it as a source and click Next. For this step, we'll have to select the theme for the design of our Instagram feed. We have options like the default, modern, social wall, outline, and overlap. Each one offers a unique design to help your Instagram feed stand out on your WordPress website. For this video, we're going to go with the outline theme. Once that's selected, we can click on Next. And for the final step, we can select the template for the layout of our Instagram feed. We have options like the default, simple grid, simple row, card grid, and more. For this video, I'm going to go with the highlight template. Once that's selected, let's click Next. And just like that, we have a live preview of our brand new Instagram feed inside the plugin. The feed is displaying the latest post from the Smash Balloon Instagram account. And because we chose the highlight template, you can see that our latest post is highlighted in a larger size at the top of our feed. When you hover over a post, you can see the number of likes, the number of comments, and a preview of the caption as well. And at the top of the feed, we have a header, which features the Instagram profile picture, account name, the bio, number of posts, and number of followers. The feed is now ready to be embedded inside our WordPress web page, but before I show you how to do that, let me show you how we can customize this feed. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, go into Feed Layout. Inside this menu, you'll find several options to modify the layout of your Instagram feed. Currently, we have the Highlight Layout selected. As I showed you before, this layout highlights your latest post in a larger size inside your feed, with the rest of the post in a grid layout beside it. Alternatively, we can go with the grid layout, and this one displays your posts in rows and columns. Underneath that, we have the carousel layout, which allows site visitors to interact with your feed and swipe through the posts like this. And last but not least, we have the masonry layout. This one displays your posts in rows and columns, just like the grid layout, but instead with the posts in their original sizes. For this video, I'm going to stick with the highlight layout, and if you scroll down below, you'll find some specific settings for the highlight layout. First, we have the type. Currently, it's set to pattern. This setting highlights your latest post at the top of your feed, as you can see inside the preview. Alternatively, you can highlight based on post ID, where you can enter a post ID manually to highlight that post. And next, we have hashtag. So you can highlight posts based on the hashtags. I'm going to change it back to pattern. You can also choose to highlight posts based on a specific interval. For example, you can highlight every second post. Because I typed in two, it's now highlighting every second post inside the feed. I'm going to change it back to zero. And if you scroll down, you can choose how many posts you want to display inside your feed on desktop and mobile. Currently, as you can see inside the live preview, we'll display nine posts. But if you want to modify that, just enter the number of posts you want to display. For example, let's go with 12. You can see straight away that we now have 12 posts inside our feed. 
In addition to being able to modify the number of posts, you can also customize the number of columns on desktop, tablet, and mobile. Now we have four columns inside our Instagram feed, but I'm gonna change it to three columns. So I can open it up and select three columns. And just like that, our feed is now automatically updated to display three columns inside our feed. And because we're using the highlight layout, the latest post is still highlighted in a larger size at the top. But now we have three columns and 12 posts in total. And once you're happy with the layout of your Instagram feed, click save on the top right corner. Next, if you wanna modify the header at the top of your Instagram feed, under the customize tab, go into header. Inside this menu, you'll find four different header styles you can choose from. At the moment, we have the standard header style selected. This one includes your profile picture, account name, and the bio. After that, we have the box layout. This one displays the same elements inside your header, but now they're contained inside this box that you can customize. And third is the centered style. This one displays the elements of your header inside a centered, stacked orientation. And last but not least, we have the text header style. This one is a simple, customizable text header that you can modify over here. You can enter anything you'd like, such as our latest posts. And if you wanted to disable the header entirely, you can toggle it off at the top just like this. Now you can see that the header has completely disappeared from our Instagram feed. I'm gonna bring that back. And for this video, we're gonna stick with the standard header style, this one here. And if you make any changes, click save on the top right corner. And if you wanna modify the color palette of your Instagram feed, under the customize tab, click on color scheme. You can see currently that it's set to inherit from theme, which means that your Instagram feed will automatically match the design of your WordPress theme. Alternatively, you can go with a light theme, dark theme, or even a custom theme that allows you to select the exact colors you want for your feed, just like this. And once you have a color scheme you're happy with, click save on the top right corner. And if you want control to moderate and filter the content inside your Instagram feed, go to the settings tab and click on filters and moderation. Next, if we click on moderate your feed, we can enable moderation mode. Once enabled, you'll have two options to moderate the content inside your Instagram feed, with the allow list and the block list. With the allow list, all your posts will be hidden by default, apart from the ones you manually choose to display like this. Next, with the block list, all your posts will be displayed by default, apart from the ones you manually choose to hide, like this. In this video, I'm gonna disable moderation mode, and if we go back into filters and moderation, under filters, you can enter words or hashtags as filters, so that your Instagram feed only displays or hides posts containing those words or hashtags. Underneath that, you can also specify what kind of posts you wanna display inside your Instagram feed. You can choose to display photos, feed videos, and Instagram reels. If you don't wanna display any of these feed types, you can simply deselect it from this menu here. And now our Instagram feed will not display any feed videos. I'm gonna check that back on. So as you can see, with these filtering and moderation options, you have complete control over the content inside your Instagram feed. And if you made any changes, click save on the top right corner. And now that you know how to create and customize your Instagram feed, let me show you how we can embed it inside your WordPress webpage. To do that, click on embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on add to a page. Next, select the page you wanna add your feed to, then click add. Here we are now on our WordPress webpage, and to embed our Instagram feed, we have two different options. The first option is by using a shortcode block and pasting the shortcode that we just copied earlier like this. Alternatively, if you're using block editor, you can use our dedicated Instagram feed block like this. With this option, you'll instantly get a live preview of your new Instagram feed inside your WordPress webpage. We can now publish the page and check out what it looks like on the live WordPress website. And now on our live WordPress webpage, we have our new Instagram feed ready to go. This one is in the highlight layout and it's featuring the latest post from the Smash Balloon Instagram account as we've created. At the top of the feed, we have the header, which includes the profile picture, account name, bio, number of posts, and the number of followers for the account as well. Because we created a highlight feed, the latest post from the account is highlighted in a large size. When we hover over the posts, we can see the number of likes, preview for the caption, and the number of comments as well. And if a site visitor wants to view the post, they can click on it like this, and that post will open up inside a light box view with the full caption on the right-hand side. You also have buttons to share the post or view the post on Instagram itself. If we scroll down to the bottom of our Instagram feed, you'll find an option to follow on Instagram and a load more button. If we click on follow on Instagram, that will take us directly to your Instagram profile. This makes it super easy to convert site visitors into Instagram followers. And if we click on load more, that will load additional posts inside our feed directly on our WordPress website. And that's how we can create an embedded Instagram feed on your WordPress website in just a few easy steps. But if you wanna embed your Instagram feed inside the sidebar or footer of your website, let me show you how to do that. Back inside Instagram Feed Pro, I've just created a second Instagram feed for the footer of our website. To embed it inside the footer, click on Embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode once again, and instead of clicking on Add to a Page, click on Add to a Widget. This will take you into the WordPress Widgets menu and you can embed it inside any widget you'd like to. For this video, let's go ahead and embed it inside the footer widget, right here. To do this, we have the same two options. The first option is by using the shortcode block and pasting the shortcode we copied earlier. Alternatively, you can use our dedicated Instagram Feed block once again, like this. With this option, you can see a live preview of your Instagram feed inside the widgets menu. We can now click on update and check out what it looks like on the live web page. 
And here we are back on our live WordPress webpage. And right in the middle, we have that Instagram account we created earlier in the highlight template. And now if we scroll down below, all the way to the footer, we have an Instagram feed inside the footer of our website. This one is just as fast and responsive as the first one. And it features the latest post from the Smash Balloon Instagram account. So you now know how to create, customize, and embed beautiful Instagram feeds like this on your WordPress website with no coding needed. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. If you experience any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And please consider subscribing to our channel for social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.